Since the hours, the days after you guys won the title, what's been the, the emotion like? Because it's been a long climb and journey, and I think you've accomplished something, but obviously you still want to accomplish something more. Yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, it was definitely an uh, unbelievable experience, you know, when it first happened, and you kind of think about everything that we've, we've gone through, and it was pretty amazing to... Uh, to celebrate on the ice in front of that that crowd like that and have all the Wisconsin fans down there at the glass. And uh, I, remember I called my mom after the game. She didn't, she wasn't able to make it, but she told me she was crying and stuff like that, and which is pretty cool. And uh, but you know, it, it's time to put it behind you type of thing and move on to the next thing. You know that we had the show last night, so we find out who we're playing, where we're going, and what we gotta do, who we have to beat. So uh, let's head on to the next thing now. Beginning the year, I remember asking you about the goals for this team and. You hopefully mentioned Pittsburgh. That was goal getting to, to Pittsburgh for the Frozen Four. Yeah. Now that you've at least made the tournament, truth be told, did you have some doubts somewhere along the way that you guys would have this opportunity? <laughs> yeah, I think everyone did. Uh, there's probably a lot of people that had no, uh, no, no confidence in us at all. But um, you know, we stuck through it, and um, so we're off to Manchester now. And it's two wins to get to Pittsburgh, and, and then it's two wins from there. So that's uh, that's the next goal is uh, to beat UMass Lowell and, and see who we play after that. And, and maybe make it to Pittsburgh, hopefully. It seems like a lot of the guys are pointing that Denver series as the turning point in the year. Um, yeah. Do you agree? And like, why? What what changed in that series? Yeah. Um, I actually remember I was there on the trip. I, I wasn't playing. I was still injured, but it was kind of the, the weekend before I was getting back into it. And, uh, you know, I really say it was. You know, we played really good that weekend. It was kind of a, a weekend right after we played Minnesota State where it was, it was a tough way to go down and get swept in the goal center like that. But um, it kind of it lifts up the hopes off of, uh, of the guys on the team. You know, I remember being in the locker room and everyone was gung-ho, like really happy. It was kind of, you know, finally broke out of the funk type of thing. And, uh, you know, our record ever since that weekend was pretty amazing. So uh, I would say that's a weekend where kind of things change and maybe a little confidence has finally grown to our team. You said, you know, people around here maybe had no confidence in yeah. when things started. Were you guys wondering Larry, uh, what, what's going on? in the last must be Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I remember sitting in my room and with, with my roommates and we were looking at uh, one of the rankings as all 59 teams. I think we were 56 at one point and we were just like, oh, yeah, we weren't expecting this at all. We thought we were going to be a, a contender this year for everything. And um, But, you know, at the same time, we knew, you know, it wasn't the type of thing where, you know, we're, we're going to be stuck here. And we knew we were supposed to be a good team, that we could be a good team. And if we didn't know that, I don't, I don't think we'd be sitting here right now. So uh, there's definitely doubts. There's no question about that. But um, there's still a little bit uh, inside of everyone that we knew we could be a good team. Uh, Mersh, Barnes, and Simonelli. With your line, what... What about it with you and Nick Tyler has clicked so well? Why do you guys have been so effective? Uh, we're all we're all just working hard, really, and uh, moving our feet. I mean, that's the main difference than than it was in the beginning with us. You know, we we struggled for a bit as a unit, and um, you know, we separated, and got our time away, and then we came back, and things just started clicking. It was kind of from uh, one end of the spectrum to the other, but um, definitely a little confidence too. You know, you get a few goals, and you, you make some nice plays together, and. And it's fun, and you come back to the bench, you're smiling in the huddle after a goal, and and uh, and things like that. So it's it's fun to be playing with the, with each other when things like that are happening. But uh, just moving our feet, I and mean, we we got all skate well and get to the puck, and when we're when we're doing that, it's stuff to stop us, really. You've 